Hey guys, it's Julia here, and today is going to be a quick video just announcing Windows 10 version 22H2. I'm going to tell you guys about it, also tell you guys how to update it, but today is October 18th, 2022. It's the day it was released, and basically this is just a minor update to Windows 10. There was also a Windows 11 update, but I'll make that another video. You'll see it in Windows Update as Feature Update to Windows 10 version 22H2. And it doesn't really add very many features, but one of the features is the option to receive important notifications when focus assist is on. And it says focus assist is like a disturb mode that hides notifications. And then something about Windows Autopilot. I'm sure there are more things that were added in this update that we don't know about. Probably a lot of bug fixes and stuff like that as well. And it does provide longer support because you know, Windows 10 versions have different support lengths and stuff like that. And this will be supported probably until 2025 because I doubt Microsoft is going to release another enablement package for Windows 10, although they might. Because the update's an enablement package, it should install fairly quickly. I'll show you guys how to update to it, which Microsoft actually published an article on how to get the Windows 10 2022 update. And they say it has a limited set of features focused on productivity and management will deliver the update, blah, 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 and all that usual stuff like that. And they tell you how to update it and they tell you to go to Windows Update. And I'll link all these articles in the description. But what I'm going to say is that this is a very minor update, although it will give you longer support. If I open up my VM here and I right click the start button and do run and type Winver, we are on Windows 10 version 21H2, OS build 1904.4.2130. Now that dot number is the latest, dot 2130. But I'm going to open up settings, update and security. And there looks like there was an error here, but you can see the feature update is also here. So I'll just have it retry. Of course, it doesn't meet the requirements. I don't have TPM on this virtual machine because why would I add TPM to a Windows 10 virtual machine? I wouldn't. But you'll see right here in Windows Update. Feature update to Windows 10 version 22H2. The next version of Windows is available with new features and security improvements. When you're ready for the update, select download and install. So I'm going to select download and install, and it's going to install Windows 10 version 22H2. If you're on 2004, 20H2, 21H1, or 21H2, this update will install fast because it's an enabling package and those just enable features because those features were added in a cumulative update already. It'll be a very fast update. It will not take long to install at all, even on a system that isn't very powerful because you can see my VM already wants to reboot that fast. So we're going to reboot it. When it's done, we should already be on it. However, if you're not on dot two one three zero, there's a chance that it will have to update to that, meaning it will take as long as a cumulative update, but it just depends on what version or what dot number you're on. It will depend on how long it takes, but it won't go through that entire like long working on update screen, like as in it's doing a feature update because it's an enabling package. Now, if you're on 20H2 or older, you're on an unsupported Windows 10 version. And if you're on 21H1, it's going to end support in December 2022. So if you're on 21H1, I highly recommend updating. If you're on 21H2, it doesn't really hurt to update because it'll just give you, you know, longer support and stuff and you'll be on the latest. So version 22H2, OS build 19045.2130. We can also check it in settings as well and confirm it. Now, if your system's compatible with Windows 11, you're gonna have to click stay on 10 for now in order to receive the feature update for Windows 10, because if you don't click that, it will not get the feature update and you'll be stuck on whatever 10 you're on because Microsoft was weird about that and you have to click stay on 10 if you don't wanna upgrade to 11. Although, just because you click on that doesn't mean you can't upgrade to 11 because you could go to Microsoft's Windows 11 download page and upgrade through there, so. Yeah, you can also get an ISO and upgrade that too. But we are indeed on, you know, 22H2 and that OS build. So it's really easy to update that. So you could also go to the download page and update here. However, here's the deal with this. If you do this method, it's not going to be the enablement package method. So it's going to take long as a full feature update because it's going to actually do an upgrade with an ISO basically. 
and when you do that, it'll take a lot longer. So I highly recommend getting it through Windows Update. However, if you're having issues updating, then this wouldn't hurt to do. Or you could download the ISO through the media creation tool and then mount the ISO and upgrade or do the upgrade option in the MCT. It'll say like upgrade this PC now. That will also do it too. But like I said, it's a very minor update and it's better to just, you know, do it through Windows Update. Now for Windows 11, just to briefly talk about this, they released an update for 22H2 that enables a few features. It enables stuff such as tabbed file explorer. It enables like these things like task manager on the right click menu, this little menu for extra applications and other things. I will leave a link to this too in the description, but you can also have Android apps, which I believe you could already do this on 22H2, but you know, I guess they just are announcing it again. But this is a pretty cool update for Windows 11 users that are on 22H2 already. And the update is optional, so you will have to go and click download and install. But I already have it pending restart, which I'll reboot at some point. I'm not going to probably show it in this video. I might make another video on it, but this is just a video announcing the next version of Windows 10 being released. Not a major update, although is it worth updating? I mean, if you want to be on the latest and you want to have longer support, then yeah, it doesn't take long to update. It's a very quick one. It wouldn't hurt to update. It'll certainly help with longer support and I guess a few new features and other things because I'm sure we'll learn more information as time goes on. But just wanted to make this quick video, throw it out for you guys. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and bye-bye for now.